Did you show it? Is it show? Yeah. Hey guys, how are you? This is George from Comic HMG Comics. Buying more comics. Isn't life fantastic? Just going around buying comic books all day and listing on eBay. So we're going to show you some purchases that we made. Uh, we have here an X-Men 361. A uh, beautiful copy. I bought it in a store. Uh, if you want to go to here with Sylvain Laval, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I don't want promoting other stores. He's located in Laval. He has the best prices in town for a lot of the stuff. Not everything, but yeah, you know, this is a beautiful book. First Carnage, you know, looks like a 9.4, most probably. Okay, we can open it up just for the fun of it. So what's the difference between people asking 9.4, 9.6, 9.8? Well, look, 9.8, you, you should not see any default or at least maximum one default. So here you have some defaults right here, right here. You have another default right here. Maybe you can't see it. Uh, but this, it can be pressed. Uh, let me look in the back. Here you have this one here that is a cut. This is in almost all the Spider-Mans. I would say 75% of the copies that were distributed, they have this cut. So when you get this book graded, they will not consider it because it's considered to be a manufacturer error. And you can see the rest is nice. So this is, the, the black, the, the back is perfect. There's no error, which, there's nothing wrong with the book here. Uh, here, you know, but here, so pressed, I would say it's gonna come back in 9.4 or 9.6. Uh, I don't think in 9.8 unless, uh, uh, you know, here you have to press it, there's a, uh, like a little bit of like waviness. But this, you could get it steam, get a professional guy, he knows what he's doing, it's gonna be pretty good. So 9.6, 9.8. So purchased, you know, a good price he gave me. Uh, and uh, most probably is going to go for more than what we purchased it for. So that's going to be a good purchase, a good, uh, good profit margin. Okay, let's look at this one. This is X-Men number 266, signed by, you know who, Chris Claremont. As you might know or not know, he basically wrote almost the whole run, starting from number 94, uh, all the way down to like, what, the 280, and then he re went back again. So this is the signature right here. Uh, first Gambit. So you can see there's some defaults right here. There's one, two three four uh and then here are some here but you can press some of this out it's not gonna get out so and the back is pretty nice i'm gonna go with a nine two nine four maybe press a little bit higher okay so we'll see what it comes out so we'll leave this here and now we're gonna go to this other lot that we bought this is a lot that came from one guy uh look the condition is not nice but it's a lot of batmans you know they're not, a, they're not expensive books these are in this condition uh what we're gonna do is most probably we're gonna sell the the rest like look they're like fine so this i'm probably gonna get rid of i'm pr we're probably gonna keep until like here all this we're probably gonna get rid of at, at a very cheap price uh if someone's this i'm gonna we're gonna get rid of this we're gonna keep so these little bit older batmans you know you see some the joker here some nice cover so this we're gonna keep because we can always sell these books okay so all this lot we're gonna probably get rid of the mat i'd like to keep okay so these are all like you know there's there's some but the shape is not nice so these are reading copies so if you're not most probably after i pull out some books if someone's interested i can sell the whole lot for 400 bucks so you're gonna have over 500 comic books uh so this is all gonna stay in the lot okay i like aliens so i'm probably gonna keep the aliens uh they always sell aliens uh this is the first appearance where you have aliens versus predator they appear together Number Dark Horse Presentative Forces. This I'm going to keep. I like the aliens. Uh, the Zerobins, I don't like the shape because we have all these books already in high grade, so I don't need them. We don't need them. The Mads, I love. It's for personal purpose. Okay, then the Batman Bees, I'm going to keep. They're older, you know, they're not, you know, they're not nice shape, but still you have some nice book. They're worth like five bucks each. You know, you can get five dollars each easily for these. Okay, then you have some nice goodies here. So these, there, there's some Canadian price variants. So Canadian price variants, as you know, are limited to about 5%. How do you know the difference between Canada price, Canadian US price variants? Very simple, it's written Canadian on the DC ones. It started from 1982 to 1988 for DC. And you can see the difference. See, this is a Canadian, uh, no, this is a new, uh, US edition, New Standard Edition. This is US. Uh, this is this is Canadian. See, this one's a Canadian price edition. So these I'm gonna keep because they usually go for about you know two three times more. So we're gonna keep all the way to number. This we're gonna keep all these Batman's Batman Year One. You know they're they, they're sellable. You know in this shape not the best but it's still sellable. And then we have the classic number four twenty three that everybody wants. Uh, this is uh, McFarlane art. Uh, fantastic. One of the nicest cover of Batman. Uh, beautiful cover, nice color. 
Uh, this is we're gonna get about 50 60 bucks because it's not a nice shape, but in nice shape It's like six seven hundred dollars. So this is very nice All right, so then we're gonna keep uh, these Batman that in the family Okay, because this all sells like you know, there's those people buying these the rest is gonna go for whoever says yes I want it for three hundred dollars. So the first person that says he wants this this I want to keep because it always sells good So you have all this here all these Batman's you're gonna be able to get for four hundred dollars even including this one you know, the ship is not that great, but still, you're going to be able to get all these for $400. Whoever says, for, I want it for $400, it says, uh, free shipping. I offer free shipping to whoever wants all these, one shot payment. Okay, then we have some more mag that I'm going to keep. I like the mag. And I'm going to include this box too in the $400 deal. So if you guys want it, like, you know, it's not some because we have most of these books in high grade. So there's no point this one I want to keep because it's always a good seller. Some older books, this I want to keep, okay, you have a Daredevil one, I was like, this one is old sell by Kevin Smith, so I want to, I want to keep that one. Uh, the Nightwing I'm, we're going to keep, no, it's bad shape, so we're not going to keep, let me see, they're not nice shape, so I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep it, is there, uh, no, nah, they're bad shape, so you can have it, whoever wants it, no Omega Man number three, it looks like it, okay. Okay, Swamp Thing, they look, you know, I don't like the condition, let me see. This we're going to keep, the shape is pretty nice. This What If 13 we're going to keep, it's a corn hand, it's always good. So you have some, you know, the newer books, I think they're probably better shape. Even newer books are in bad shape, so you can, you can have them. 400 bucks, the whole lot for 400 bucks. Some corn hands, I like What If, I'm going to keep it. So these, all in the lodge, you have some surgery free. So all this, $400. All right, sold. Whoever wants it right now, it's his four hundred dollars, and we got a deal. We take PayPal, we wire transfer you to pick it up, no problem. Okay, four hundred bucks. So now let's go to the last lot, which is a super nice lot. Okay. Oh man, I love comics. Oh, by the way, if you don't drink this, I recommend you do. Let me have a sip. Ah, very nice. Love it. All right, this is a nice lot. So, so it's uh, different purchases. So this gentleman had a lot of Batman, Superman, the whole lot. I don't know if you know Mark the Comic Hunter. He bought it from Mark the Comic Hunter five years ago. And now, you know what? He never read it, but he had the whole run. And in it, so you have it here. Come and see Batman, Superman, number one. Number 10 variant. This is something else that's not related. Okay. So this is the whole run. And the key book in there, as you might know or not know, is the first appearance of Batman Beyond. And I made sure that it was in it, because if it was not in it, I was not gonna buy it. I bought the lot just because it had that book. And that book really went up in value. Let's try to find where it is. Okay, so it has the whole run. So, you know, it's still a very good run to read, whatever, it's good, it's sellable. It's not junk, you know, so, and they're all like mint copy. So he bought this from Mark the Comic Country about five years ago. Uh, and obviously I bought it back. He never read them. And they all look like mint copies. Okay, let's try to find that book. I know it's here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh, look at this book. This book in 9.8. Let's find out the grade. What do you guys think? Can it be 9.8? Can it be 9.6? Can it be 9.4? We don't know until we, we open a book. We open back okay so let's look at it with the lighting okay so you see right here this cannot be 98 already because of this I don't know if you could be able to show it so this is not a 98 okay let's look at the back in my estimate this is gonna come back in 94 96 uh, maybe 96 maybe 98 I don't know you know sometimes that these CGC guys or CBS they're blind uh, as you know CBS says uh, grades much tougher, tougher than C um, CGC. Uh, maybe you don't know, for newer books, for older books, it's the opposite. Don't ask me why. Uh, I guess they have a policy to grade tighter uh, for uh, newer comic books regarding uh, CBC, uh, CBCS. All right, so now also the gentleman was very nice. He gave us an extra comic book. He goes, look, take these, my gift to you, my friend. I like you. Okay, so I go, sure, give it to me. So I'll show you the books that we got in the trade comic book closer. So here, this is a Batman Catwoman. They're supposed to get married. I don't know. I guess they never did. She chickened out, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another, another variant, I guess. This is a variant. Yeah, that's no, the first print. 
Okay, you have here the some variants of the Batman versus Superman variants. I think these are all it. And I think these are a little bit harder to find. You don't see them too often. Yeah, you don't see them, right? Yeah, yeah they're, they're rare. They're, they're harder to find. Okay, so these are all the Batman versus Superman variant covers. Actually, I've never seen some of these covers. And this is nice. Is this all Jim Lee? Well, I know this is Jim Lee, no? Yeah. Yeah, that's Jim Lee. Okay, what is it? Yeah, it's Jim Lee. Okay, nice. Batman Beyond. Let's show. Uh, this is where I started the new rebirth, you know. Uh, basically, it's all on crisis. Go back to the past, change the past, go to the future. Uh, that's the only story they have these days. Uh, this is a sketch cover. I think it's a little bit more expensive than usual. You know, probably, I don't know. You know what's this worth, no? No, no, yeah. Okay, this is another variant, Legend of Wonder Woman. Uh, I think it's a variant. So that's good. All right, guys, so that's basically it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, wish you guys a good day. And uh, if you want that a uh, lot, let me know. Uh, sorry, I want to keep this book. Sorry, I saw this book. Oh, sorry, this one too. Sorry, till, till here, sorry. Uh, yeah, till here. So all this, not this. We're looking at here to here. We're looking at $400, shipping included. Wherever you are, I'll ship it to you for free. Free! Thank you!